about pets. We're all about fun. We have the nicest people. Our deals are number one. You'll love Dave's. Dave's soda <laughs> and Pet City. We make shopping for your pet. Fun, 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 fun. We're filming. <laughs> All right, so hey everybody, welcome to Dave's Pet Show. Um, I'm hoping you didn't leave the couch and, and Esther stayed overnight all week. I did, it was comfy. Yeah, yeah. She Plenty to drink. She blew off the house and at home and her husband yep. and all that kind of stuff. And we have another, look, look at the dog looking at you. like. And so right, we have another girl. new guest, but she, um, so tell me about you. So uh, my name is Mary, and this is Dakota, and uh, we are from Halifax, Vermont. So we've come down to join my training buddy Esther, and uh, we're going to uh, have a good time with our dogs and accomplish some things, I hope. And so tell us about Dakota. So Dakota is <laughs> smiling. She is a uh, just turned six, actually, Labrador Retriever. Uh, she is from a wonderful breeder. That's all right. Down in uh, Long Island, and I have another gal from. Uh, a uh, gal from the same breeder, Sue Carpenter, and uh, she's a combination of so-called field lines, which means they're bred to work in the field, and show lines, which means they're bred to look beautiful. So we think she's the best that's combination right. of... Brains and beauty. Brains and beauty, that's exactly <laughs> right. So, and uh, Coda has a lot of obedience titles and uh, a lot of uh, rally titles. And yeah. Uh, it's been in the field, loves field work, is a little bit noisy, but uh, she she's has a She's very good time. enthusiastic. She's very enthusiastic, yes. Good so good. Yes. She, uh, she's done a lot of different things. So tell me, tell me again about the gray on her. So she has a distinguished gray prematurely because she has what's called a chondrosarcoma, which is a nasal cancer. Not that uncommon in dogs, unfortunately. Uh, Good girl, she was like diagnosed that. in August of yep. last year, and now she uh, had three rounds of radiation, yep. and she's doing really well. Yep. She's on a lot of Chinese herbs and things, yep. so she yep. lives to work, she lives to train, so we are working yep. and training. As right? long as they can, right? As long as, as, long as, as, long as they can. can. That's exactly right, so enjoying every minute. So what kind, tell me what you're going to do here. So I'm getting ready to compete with her at an obedience trial, and yep. because it's in a different place, yep. actually at the Big E, yep. next weekend, yep. this yep. Yep. I wanted to get out and practice in a place that she's not been to for a very long time. Okay. And the distractions yep. are something that they need to be able to deal with, Okay. and that's my primary goal today, is to help her do the exercises she needs to do when it's not on her home turf. Got it. Actually, same story. So we are entered probably in the same obedience trial next weekend. Yep. Um, you, these two will be competing, uh, or in different we're classes. In different classes. We're in different, different classes. classes. Different classes. But yeah. we need the same thing. So right. we're yep. working on, uh, you know, having fun and being competent and confident in, in the face of distractions. So this place is perfect. That's like for way this. too much for me to ever do. <laughs> We love it when they, you put that wall up since the yes, last time I was here. I know it's better. Yeah. the bottles and cans, oh, they love that, that noise. Yeah. Yes. If they can deal with that, yeah. they can deal with almost anything that happens over at the Better Living Center. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Good so, job. so what kind of stuff are you going to, uh, can you give us a little demo of, sure. of what? Uh, sure, some healing. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Sure. We could do some signals. Or Alphabet. We could do some yeah. Whatever. Whatever, uh, whatever, whatever job, you want to do. Job. Nice what for you. Healing, so where do we? Does it matter yeah. where we go? In the no. He's, he's. So how about Mary? Mary. Alphabet. Where's heel? How about you go down that way and right. face that way, and we'll just where, do a square I want to be around on the, the way. Rink. Where's so heel? Where, where do I stand? Yeah, you can be right in the middle of us. Okay. Yeah, you stay. You stay where you are. Okay. Because I'm distracting. You are. Are you ready? That's what I do best. Are you ready? Good. How about we, do, so move over that way, Mary, I think. Yeah. On the other side of Dave. Yeah. So we can do forward halt by Dave. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I, I was, because I was right in blocking you. Okay. Alphabet here. All right. We're good. Where's heel? All right. You ready? You ready? Forward. Heel. Halt. Forward, dance. 
Good girl, alphabet right here. Good girl, about turn. Hold. Nice job. Sure. Left you turn. Get back. Good girl. Forward, dance. Alphabet right here. Good girl, left turn. Left turn. Alphabet, dance. That's it, good girl. Hold. Let's do drop on recalls. Where's heel? Come here, alphabet. Good girl, shake it off. Where's heel? Good girl, you ready? So drop when you're ready, right? Leave your dog, wait. Call your dog. Bubba, here. Alphabet, here. Alphabet. Alphabet. Come on. That a girl. Good. Down. Good girl. So that was hard for her with a big dog. Right, I saw her. her. Right. Right? Yeah. So that's a more experienced dog than this one is, so she had a little bit more trouble. Got it. Right? So I just encouraged her. Right. Alphabet. Where's heel? Yeah. Where's heel? So let me call her first. After she's coming, call Dakota. Okay? Leave your dog. Wait. So I'm going to set it up a little differently to help her be more successful. So you know what I like? All kidding aside, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I like the method of doing stuff to make her more successful. Here. Down. Down. Good. Front. Where's heel? Awesome for you. That was brilliant, girl. Good job. Good job. So, so how I, come these so dogs don't I weigh don't... 800 pounds from all the treats they get? Nah. Wow. So <laughs> Mary and I have the same philosophy about this in that if they make a mistake, you don't want to correct them and make them feel badly about what just happened. Change something in so the So do you picture. do that with your husband as well? Absolutely. To. You just Try work to. out, right, never correct, <laughs> no. just work on ways it's to... It's fine, honey, it's fine, honey. <laughs> but we changed the picture enough so that she could be successful. Right. That increases her confidence level. Right. Right, so that when something happens yeah. at a show, she goes, I dealt with that, I can deal with that. Right. So, always want to try and help them be successful and not make them feel badly about themselves. Right. Right? Were you brilliant? Were you brilliant? That was very hard for you. Come here, sweetie. And so, and so Dakota's won all kinds of awards? Yeah, yeah. she has. Dakota's, uh, she loves this stuff. So, she, uh, she's won, let's see, she's won several high-end trials, which means... She, she beat every other dog that was competing. Right. Yeah. She, okay. um, Alphabet here. has her utility dog excellence. Sit. Wait. Uh, which means she's qualified in Stay. two of the highest classes ten times, and she has an extra seven times qualifying, so she's almost UDX2. She's Good girl, working on her obedience trial championship, which... Uh, which is a very lofty title. And where do, they, where, do, where do they hold those uh, events? Uh, at, like so the Big E and stuff? Yeah, the Big E or... At different training So centers. did you say there's one coming up this weekend? The 7th, 8th, and 9th, Friday, right. Saturday, so and Sunday. So it's already too late that we won't... It, we don't, we don't broadcast are, right away because we're always like a two-week lag. Oh, gotcha. There are obedience trials and all-breed confirmation shows at the All Biggie the time. regularly. Oh, wow. When yes. are the next right. ones? The next one, I think, is probably July for obedience. Well, Fourth yep. of July weekend is humongous. Hum humongous. It's one of the right. biggest shows in the country. Yeah. Right. And it's so in three different buildings there. It's in the Better yeah. Living Center, the Mallory Building, You know, we took a, a booth building. there once, and I almost died because it was so hot. Oh yeah. My God. You must have booth. been in the young building. Yeah. Yeah. That's the hot building. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my know. word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that ain't happening <laughs> again. But, um, <laughs> but it's interesting to go to. If people are thinking about getting a dog, it's a good place for them to go and see yep. a variety of different breeds and to yep. talk to breeders yep. and get some idea of what the adult ones look. Because the puppies all look so cute. I know they do. And then they grow up. Right. And some of them have these profuse coats that require a lot of grooming. Right. Or they're hard to handle because of their character. Right. And you need to make a smart choice. See, I would never know about a Skipper King. Right. Because right? they're a relatively unknown breed. Right. So Labrador Retrievers are the number one dog in the country based on numbers of registrations with the yep. AKC. Yep. This breed, 112 <laughs> on the list. Right. Right. 
But you know what? We have a lot of customers who get these guys, and they're really hard to handle too, unless they're trained. They can do. They're, they're big and they're un, un, unwieldy they're and. Good girl. Yep. But good they girl. have needs. You know, they need yep. mental stimulation as well as a lot of physical exercise. Right. They need training. Yep. They need bonding. They need to be inside. You know, they they're loving dogs and great companions, but. Yeah, basically you have to survive the first two years. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, have a right. Plan. Just right. like kids, right? Just yeah. Like kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and then the you get a little lull. Get there. You get a little lull till they're about sixteen, <laughs> and then it, and then it, then oh, it. Oh, I uh, think that starts earlier now than yeah, it, it used does. to. Yeah, yeah, it must. <laughs> it must. So, what other kind of stuff can we do while we're while we're rolling? We this is uh, a rare retrieving. Everybody likes to see retrieving. retrieving. We'll do retrieving. Oh boy, she says I love retrieving. Is your dumbbell handy, Mary? It is. That's a loaded oh, question. Her husband's not even here. So the do it's, what blows me away is that the dog just sits here and waits for you. Yes. Well, that's an exercise that they have to do in competition. There will be nine dogs lined up against the back of the ring. And in the class that we're competing in, yeah. the handlers leave the ring for three minutes while the dogs are sitting. And then they have to leave again while the dogs are doing a down for five minutes. Nine dogs in a row. And oh. they have to stay there motionless for five yeah. minutes. Wow. Wow. Not easy. That takes no. a lot of training. That's a lot of training. Right? Yeah. Alphabet. Yeah. Not her favorite thing. No. Thank you. I mean, that wouldn't be anybody's Well, we worry thing. a lot. We worry to hang out right. dogs you don't know. Right. Good job. Good. Right. Wait. So what are we doing now? She's doing retrieving. So get it. she's going to still stand it up and get her dumbbell. Yeah. Look at that cute little dumbbell. <laughs> Oh my nice word! Nice job. Out. Let me Good let me girl. back up here with you guys. Where's you? Excellent dog. So here's that a training question for you yeah. then. So one of my shepherds, because my dogs I, are just amazingly are well flawless. trained, flawless. They've won all kinds of awards. <laughs> so one of them gets a frisbee, and, and you need a crowbar. Actually, yeah. do you know Pam Bach? Yeah. So Pam Bach. So one of my dogs is a Fidelco dog. Yep. So um, I said to, I called Pam after we got the, got the dog, and I said, Pam, how do I get the Frisbee out of Ogden's mouth? And Pam said to me, with a crowbar. <laughs> All right. I have two other possible suggestions. Yeah. And get she's the trainer. Frisbee, oh, gosh. Get another Frisbee, just like the one that he already has, yeah. and trade him. You're coming back with this one? Look, I have this one, which I'm going to throw okay. as soon as you let go of that one. I'll that's try one that. That's one possibility. Yep. And the other is... Take it. Pretend that's his frisbee. Yep. I have a cookie in my hand. Oh, that doesn't work. If the cookie's that if no. the cookie's good enough. Nothing. <laughs> Chicken, steak, brisket, nothing. Well, how about if you just walk away? Not, what happens if you stop the game? He just stands there, waits for you. Wait till the cows come home. Right. I guess. I can't throw it again until you let go of it. Let right. go of it. Right. All right. Let's see Dakota do a big okay. retrieve. Alphaba, right here. Come here. Alphaba, here. Good girl. Where's he? Sit. Wait. So the other cool thing is she waits for you to say, take it. Good girl. So I notice you don't do any German commands or any of that kind of stuff? I don't do that. No, some people do. Some, yeah, I, I know. know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And and plots and, plots and, and all that stuff. Yeah. So if you watch the difference between what they did, so again, level of confidence, level of experience. Yep. I had to ask Elphaba to go to get her dumbbell twice. Because the first time I sent her, she said, I'm not too sure. So I just asked her again. And she said, yeah. okay, I guess I can. Dakota said, I don't care what's going on. I'm getting my dumbbell. Oh. So that, yeah. that right. explains a difference. Right, right. Different level yeah, of confidence. Yeah, but how many years she's been doing this? In yep. how many years? Well, she's been training too, but yep. we've done other things. And right. her character is different, different than Dakota's character. Right. So I have to take a slightly different approach to my training. Right. Although it's all positive. Also, yep. I can't do the same exact no, kinds of things personalities. with her right. that, I, that Mary can. Dakota right. needs more slowing down, Where's calming down. Good girl. You want to try again? Because she just wants to please you. You want to try again? She, Good right. girl. She Sit. wants to go. Good. She yep. wants Wait. To what yep. can I do for you, Mom? Yep. And, you know, Skipper Key is different. She needs more, I do like, go get it, go get it, a little more motivating. And she's yep. like, great self-control. So, yep. let's, let's do the best. <laughs> I love 
So would she have lost points for that, or how, yes. how do they? Yes. Everything that's not perfect, <laughs> out. Where's heel? Everything that's not perfect gets you a deduction. Everybody goes into the ring starting out with 200 points. It's like a car show. Right. Yeah. And everything that is not quite right, yeah. you will lose a half a point, a point or more, depending right. on how big the error Can is. Can you so bribe the judges? Yeah, no. I'm no. a judge, too. I'm oh, a KC right. judge. Okay. So you okay. are. Yeah. <laughs> so the rules say that they have to go directly to the dumbbell and bring it directly back. So that little detour to check yeah, out that piece of Yeah, you would have lost a the point. A half a point. A point. Right. Right? I right. still would have passed. Yep. It's not enough to fail me. Yep. But it's not perfect. Right. And we're look we're working against a standard of perfection. Got it. Got it. Right. So right? Um, we're going to wrap up with a, a cup, another serious question. Good. Good girl. In encouraging, if someone wants to do this, yeah. is there is there a big financial commitment to this or, or there there isn't no. right? I mean, no. you got buy a couple dumbbells and. Yeah. Right. And energy. So there are books that you can buy that can help you train. Yep. There are all sorts of places that offer online courses yep. that you can take that are amazingly effective. Really? You think that, how can you learn to train your dog online? Really well, there are. Yeah, because so my dog won't sit and watch the computer that long. I know. You have to do that <laughs> so for I him. So <laughs> a really big one, a really popular one is right. the Fenzi Dog Sport Academy, F-E-N-Z-I. We got that? Fenzi? F-E-N-Z-I, Dog Sport Academy. You can yep. go online and find okay. that. They offer usually 30 courses a semester, which lasts six weeks, on everything from rally to obedience to all kinds of scent work to conditioning for the handler and the oh, dog, cool. the psychological yeah, aspect of it. Yep. It's an amazing Fearful thing. Dogs, Fearful dogs. Fearful dogs. Overly excited dogs. Yep. Yep. Water work, humpback stuff. I mean, yeah. Oh, very cool. It's amazing. So, yep. there are books, there are uh, courses online, classes, six or eight weeks, 160, 170 bucks. Right. So, that's an right. investment of money. But not huge. But time. And you have right. to do it's your time. homework. And you've got to practice. You have to practice. Right. You can't get away with doing it. I mean, it we have a zillion week. classes going on here all the time. I with know. Isn't that amazing? Different uh, yeah. stuff. Ob obedience and... and you know, puppies and right. the other, all the and other puppy kind of training stuff, so. is super, super important. Yeah. Right. And not just one puppy class. Right. That's like saying that my kid right. went to kindergarten; he's done with school. Right. <laughs> right, and it doesn't work that way. Right. 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 All right. Well, thank you very hey, much. I'll, I'll let you get to eat. Dave, this is very fun. So, so good luck next week. Thank right? you. Thank next thank week. Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Dave's Pet Show. Um, and we are here, uh, we, this is one of our favorite shows every year. A couple yes. times a year we get to have uh, Eddie on here. Um, and uh, it's a pond fish season. Right. But I, have to, I just have to tell you, uh, before we start the show, that this is going to be our last live show for probably a month because yours truly is going in to get a new knee. Actually, by the time you see this, I will have already had my... New knee. New, new knee, yeah. So we won't be shooting, I guess, for probably, they tell me about a month or so. So, so the good one. news is, unless my wife murders me in that month because I'll be convalescing at home, oh then we will be back, right? Absolutely. But it's interesting my, how my wife wanted to check over my insurance policies and uh, make sure everything was in line. Just, and, I had to, and I had to explain to her that murder, it, you know, you're, the policy is null and void. If you murder oh. someone, did well, you know that? <laughs> you knew that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> so otherwise, my employees would have done it years ago. Especially Matt. All right. So well, let's talk. Innocent. Yeah, let's talk about uh, about okay. goldfish. Goldfish. Pondfish. Fatty ones. Yes. These are. These people still put these outside. They're a little bit more delicate, though. You don't leave these outside in the pond. They're called pearl scales. And a pearl scale... Looks like a golf ball. Yes. You and a pearl scale should be able to sit on your palm of your hand and be comfortable. Just like a ball. Okay. And on the outside they have a scale. They call them pearl scales because each scale is like a pearl. Can you see it? You can touch those. those are, doesn't hurt them. You feel it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good. And their value of them is how big the ball is. That's the most important thing. And the new thing is the head. 
This, this one right here has a top uh, on it. It looks like a bubble. It's filled with liquid. Uh, people have heads that are filled well, with liquid. didn't we used to just call those bubble heads years ago? Right? Possibly. Bubble eyes is a little different. The bubble eye? Oh, the bubble eyes. Yeah, I think it's the bubble eye, the bubble head. Right. All right. right. It on the head. Okay. His eyes All are right. straight. Does his head bubble up and down? Yeah, yeah sometimes, see? <laughs> when you put him in the back seat of the car? No. Bobblehead <laughs> fish. There you go. They're beautiful. So, did, did you kind of get that a little bit? Do all four stores have it? I'll, I'll, we have seven stores. These are brand we have new. Four. We oh. have seven stores. But oh. These are brand new, so they oh. will be making yeah. an appearance. So, Eddie, what's the deal with these? Is this a new species or hard um, to come by or what? Yes, these are the, one of the hardest ones to come by in there. I bring them in because I know how to take care of them, but most people, they bring them in, they kill them. Once they, it's the hard transportation from uh, China to America. Yeah. Okay. And they're, it, it, they're, they're a little bit delicate, so there's a little bit of loss to them. Yeah. Uh, and once they get here and they're healthy, though, it's pretty good. And how, how long do you keep them at your quarantine tanks? Oh, it, it could be weeks to days. It depends on the quality of, of the shipment. Yep. A really big determination. So do you have enough of these that all, all seven stores will get these, or who's, yes. which stores will have these? No, you, everybody can Every, have Everyone can get I, them? I, I think I've got about 15 so, of them right. to distribute. Oh, please get two of them, yep. So the, my question is, because they're, they're, they're more difficult, we should not sell these to n newbies. I wouldn't give it to somebody off the street, no. You got to, uh, but a person w that knows these yeah. would pay anything for them. <laughs> They're almost impossible to get. These, I and would go at least a 30 gallon tank for too. Yeah, yeah, 20 gallon. would be all right. 20? Okay, That's 20 right. would be How big right. do these guys get? Um, he's a little bit smaller than a hardball. Oh. Really, they do. Six inches, six inches. <laughs> they're, they're like that. Really? <laughs> they're beautiful, okay. But they're pretty to watch. They're gorgeous. Yeah. So can you put these, I know they have such big fins, can you put them in with other goldfish? Will oh, they yes. nip at it? Just oh, any other oh, goldfish. Yeah. Just same, put them stay, in. Try the same But sign not for outdoors. No, right? They, they can go outside. They can go outside? Yeah, but you ain't going to put them with a big fish. You've got to put them with a little guy. The trick with okay. these guys is make sure you have a lot of coverage, um, like hyacinth or plant coverage. That way birds yeah, don't pick yeah. them off. Yeah, you don't put them with a fast swimming fish. You can put them with a ranchu. Okay, like. God bless you. Yes. Here, I'm going to put these I in. I put on my salad. These, <laughs> yes. These guys are Chinese really, really present. nice. Yes. These guys. Is okay. this a ranchu? Yeah, these are ranchus. And I'll catch one here. They're, they're like puppies. Okay. And they have faces on them. See that bumpy face? Yeah. Whoop. He's angry. Yeah, there you he's go. He's talking. And they, they come up with a big head, too, like a randus. Yeah. Oh, when people see these, they, everybody that knows goldfish will know what this is. And they'll be down to Dave's to get them. Mm -hmm. okay. How expensive are these? This guy would probably sell at Dave's somewhere around $100. Okay. Okay. These guys would probably sell here for maybe. Um, Hunter, that's quite a splash. That was this, a splash. This is like, this is like a fifty dollar fish. You just okay. buy it days. So okay. if you really want to have something unique and call your friends and say you got to come over and see what I got, mm -hmm. you got to go to Dave's to, go. to get it. No, but I meant. Yes. Yes. This is it. Anybody. Anybody. Okay. Right. Absolutely, you love them. So Eddie, what what's what's the the thing filled with? Liquid. Obviously, yeah. It's feel, no. It, it, the point is, is this, this thing is why is, we pay this guy the big so bucks. So we <laughs> ask him these <laughs> questions. Yeah, yeah. Liquid. liquid. It's filled. I mean, with is it coffee or or? No, it's, uh, it's just a, a liquid from the. Uh, H2O. It, yeah, that's water. yeah. It's, it's Basically, <laughs> what really? Water. Yeah. Water. Just like a humans, ninety or however many percent your water. Touch but. touch the top. You'll see it's like a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> that's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but now this guy, this guy has got. A solid more unit on it in the head, yeah. Yes. Okay. And when we get into arandas, yep. Which I'll be bringing these up too. There's a little bit too much water in there. Yep. Okay. What we got here? This can, is, can we put just put these guys in the pot? No. No. They'll those go, guys. They'll, yep, those they'll will go, go in the other tank. tank. Yeah. Those okay. Guys will okay. What we're way. doing here is arandas. Yep. These actually have bones in their heads that stick out like blades. If anybody goes I to buy them. Like that. Anybody goes to bite one of these things, mm -hmm. the top of the head is called the win, W-I-N. Okay, and see the win on top. Can you see that? Yeah. Look at that. Okay, yes. that's got a bone in it. Yes, I can okay. feel it. Yeah, so this is, 
This, this guy, sometimes something will bite it and take a piece and just swim away and it grows back. Oh, cool. You know, so these guys fit in there too. Again, another slow swimming fish. People keep these in their house through the winter, through the summer. Yep. And, and, and but these and guys get big. Yeah, yeah, they'll get seven inches. Yeah. I have a question for you, Ed. Wow. This is good. I know it's a lot of his genetics for crossbreeding. Now, how are these bred? Are they free spawned or are they egg stripped or how do they? Well, I breed, they right? What? When they actually are egg officially stripped? egg stripped, when they put the eggs into a petri dish and then they fertilize them with the male. You're absolutely right. Uh, because right. Uh, what it requires is that there's a hormone that you inject the fishes so, so they drop the eggs when you want to, them to. And uh, then uh, the, they take the male after, and then they melt the male. It's, it's just through... They melt them? Milk. Oh. Milk. Milk. Melting fish. It just squeeze the bottom of it. There's a certain way to do it. And uh, the, the, the milk comes out. And then you mix it around and keep it in a tank. It's got to be at like 75 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it stays that way. And they'll hatch for you. I do it now. I, have, I raise a lot of my own fish mm -hmm. now. Okay. <laughs> really? now no, I'm, I'm just... Get I'm, 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 how cool is that? That is pretty cool. It's right? A lot, of, a lot of fish, that's how you breed salmon. A lot of times when they're breeding salmon for fish farming, they do the same thing as well. Now, if they were to free spawn, would you get the genetic? Of course, you would get a lot of those genetics, or would you sort of revert? Well, they, they, they'll they all mix. You know, you might get something out of it, but traits, it, traits. it'll be one a little bit more on one side and one on the other side. I got you. They're bred this way because of what the style that we're looking for. That's like mm -hmm. dogs. Okay. I want a short dog with big ears. Right. I want a short dog that's long. Domesticated breeding. That's exactly. it. That's it. Okay. But th th they've been doing this for years. These fish which you're looking at here have been around for a long, long time. But when they breed them, th th there's only so many of them that come out good enough to sell. They can live with a great big fish anywhere or little fish. They're not prone to eat everybody. Very peaceful. And, th and, th and that's, oh, we, I brought a hundred of these in mm -hmm. and they sold People them all. Sell them. Right. It's a handsome, jet black is always very handsome in a yes. tank because it stands up. Also, in a lot of cultures, a lot of Asian cultures, one black fish is, the symbol, of, is a symbol of prosperity. What? Just one? one put one in there. One in there? Say, and that's your symbol. Interesting. That's, it's good luck. It's a good luck for prosperity. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And so it's um, a lot of it is symbolism. All right. So, uh, so that's, that's the show, right, for the week. Okay. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and had some fun. Uh, and um, again, I will be uh, away for convalescing for a few weeks, um, so we'll be on summer reruns, but we'll, we'll be back. <laughs>